Peace, peace. Happy now. Now is the vibe break. We're not going too far in the future. We're not going too far in the past. moment uh, right now oh it's like a sex motion hey sex ain't nothing wrong with sex y'all it's just again you think about like the symbol for on and off hey oh <laughs> i be ha- I, I am getting used to uh, that vibe too i do sometimes have to remember that there are there are old souls that are in new body suits, aka with this realm of reality called children. And even though an old soul, they're in new body suits and we call them children, so technically they're not supposed to see certain things or hear certain things, you know what I'm saying? And I get it from some perspective, but you know. I don't be feeling that all the way though, because I look back at me as a youngster and the things I knew and was connecting with. I'm like, bro, I'd, I'd, I'd be way more well rounded if people would just start telling me the truth from jump, you know what I'm saying? Now, I get that, you know, uh, in which your childhood is your whole life. I feel like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it might say like somebody grew up without a childhood or well, shit. To me, you got your whole life to be. Child, you know what I'm saying? As long as you're having a accountability about what you're doing, you know what I'm saying? And a certain, you know, like you take care of what you got to take care of in the sense of like, again, like, say things like, uh, if you have a, a child, you know what I'm saying? Making sure that you take care of your quote unquote child, not say your, like, is your possession, but you know, taking care of your child, but at the same time, you being childlike within your life as well, you know, just making sure you're responsible and accountable for, you know, for making sure that little sentient being don't, uh, you know, learn enough to govern, you know, govern itself uh, by itself. But, uh, had a vibe uh, lately been coming up, like, just showing how now the, the moment is simultaneously connected to the past and the future, and that there is no, uh, I'm even seeing it right now. Like, as I'm talking to y'all, I'm catching the flashes. But basically, you know, we, we get into a place where we're learning that quantumly, you know, especially, like, again, when we in alignment energetically, you know, we tapped in our Merkaba spinning, you know, uh, our, our Terraria feel embodying that golden mean ratio. We, we on point with it, you know what I'm saying? We're able to, uh, you know, tap in even stronger. And, and tapping into our moment, you know, uh, again, depending on the, the, the power of your abilities, you know, it'll be stronger for most than others, but long story short, you know, your now is a time machine, and it's been becoming more and more evident recently, you know, and I've heard people bringing it up, but again, this came from my own experience, and then seeing other people bring it, I'm like, all right, yeah, obviously, we're all going through this little timeline, you know, shifting and breaking down, you know, because another thing, too, in order for us to, uh, you know, shift from certain energies, it, certain energies got to come up to the forefront, you know, it got to, it's like a pimple or something, you know, like in order for that pus or whatever it is, or the infection to get out, not necessarily the pus, but in order for that infection to get out, it, got, it has to come up and out, you know what I'm saying, and, which means you have to see it, you know. Like, you know, it, it ain't like, oh, I just wanted to come out without me having to see it or hear it or deal with it or this and that. Like, nah, if it come up, you're going to have thoughts of doubt or whatever, whatever, as you're getting over those doubtful energies of yourself. You're going to have a vibe of, like, sorrow or sadness if you're getting over the energy of somebody transitioning in your life, whatever the case may be, you know what I'm saying? You, you go through those energies, you know, and, and, and nothing is wrong with that either, you know, again. It's called energy in motion. Emotion is not e blocks Energy that's being blocked. <laughs> but uh, again, just tapping into the, the now moment. And I had a situation, basically I had a vision that I went back and told the, the sloppy drunk me 
that it would be greater later, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I, I was, in matter of fact, and, and this way it gets deep to see how you quantumly shift. Because again, for lack of a better word, now this is where things about to get, you know, I ain't gonna say pretty trippy, but you know. Like, because when you're diving into time travel, like and say, for instance, time don't exist. So for me to say the 2019 me talk to the 2013 me, you know, well, technically 2013, 2019 is a, you know, it's not really a real thing in essence, you know. We're in this moment, and then it was that moment, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but, you know, for lack of a better word, you know, using these dates and things of this nature, but again, we are timeless, we are infinite, there is no such thing as time, you know what I'm saying? Except for when somebody grabbed two little sticks get a circle and number that circle and say all right when this stick is touching this stick we're gonna call this 12 and when this stick is touching this stick we're gonna call that 3 p.m you know when this stick is touching this stick we're gonna you know when the sun come up and down after so many days we'll call that one year you know and the sun gonna kiss regardless of you call it a year or not it, it is just the moment you know what i'm saying but uh, again, I had this vision that I went back and told my sloppy drunk self that it would be greater later. And, and in that moment, I envisioned myself from the perspective of when I used to like get all drunk and fucked up and all that. And you know, I remember like like vibes coming to me in those moments of like, bro, it's gonna get better. You know, it's gonna get greater later. And part of the reason why you feeling all fucked up because you know to be greater than what you are right now and life is more than what you're seeing it to be right now you know so you just like on some get weight but like bro it's gonna get greater later you know and that voice from me sit so in my fact when i had this vision i was sitting at the grocery store and literally i feel like that moment that i was sitting in the grocery store you know and and, and going back and telling that drunk me like hey everything's gonna be all right like, and this way it gets tricky. The 2019 me that was sitting in that store in that moment is the actual aspect of me that that talked to me from the future and let me know that things is gonna be greater on a level to you know to start like you know stop drinking and, and doing things of this nature. So literally, you know, again for for lack of a better word. You know, the 2019, you know, again, we're trying to put this in the human words, and these are concepts that our logic and, and words haven't really touched, in essence. But again, like, the best way for me to, to say it, you know, 2019, me sitting there, was the actual me that changed the past me, you know. So, in that moment, sitting down, reflecting and having that vision, I quantumly went back to myself and, and, and cause that moment and, and, and going back looking at that moment from that perspective you know I could feel like that energy of like like basically I was talking to a me that's seeing a different realm like basically I was talking to a me that's like hey bro like you don't see what I'm seeing <laughs> like look you gonna end up quitting look, at, look you feeling like you're gonna be addicted to alcohol and all these things all the time. Look, bro, it's gonna change, bro. Your life gonna get to a level where you just be high off of life all the time. You know what I'm saying? Like, but uh, you know, we we going through again these quantum timeline jumping vibes. You know, of uh, going back talking to our past self, or you know, maybe connecting with our future self, and that's the whole aspect of what you know what's going on. But yeah, that. In that moment, again, for whatever it's worth, what we call 2019, sitting on that bench, like, I talked to, the, the moment I talked to my old self, like, basically, I'm trying to put it into, you know, again, I'm putting it in the word. The aha moment I had back in, when it was 2013 or 14, but that aha moment I had to, to stop drinking and to start, you know, getting into like uh spiritual information and things of this nature like that 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 part of me in the past changed due to the 2019 me you know sharing that information you know on a quantum level you know 
And again, that's the best way for me. You know, I had to close my eyes and everything like it. But, you know, uh, and, and, and two, that's how we could also heal ourselves, you know, is again, envisioning, you know, like you got that aspect of you, like say, for instance, there's a certain subconscious programming that uh, you may have. Like, again, I use the vibe of like, you know, uh, being scared of crawfish. You know, when you got a traumatizing situation where you got bit by a crawfish, you could go back to that time and be like, you know, hey, little me, like, don't be scared of that crawfish. Like, and that's just one experience. Don't let that one crawfish spoil your experience with crawfish, you know what I'm saying? I'm not talking about eating them, but, you know, just dealing with them. But it's like, you know, don't let that. And, 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 and so you could go back in that, in that vibe and, matter of fact, and, and, and show you... Your, your younger you, a crawfish sitting in your hand, and be like, see, look, it ain't, you know, it ain't touching me, it ain't biting me, you know, it ain't did nothing wrong, you know what I'm saying, and then you can sit it in the younger you hand, and let the younger you get over that fear, that phobia by connecting with whatever that thing you're scared of is, in this example, I'm talking about a crawfish, you know, because again, the conscious mind would be like, oh man, I ain't scared of crawfish, but then when I put a crawfish in your face, you're like, oh shit, get that shit out of my face. No reason why, because again, it's still subconsciously programmed into you, even though you might consciously say, oh, I'm over that, you know, and, and that's what we got to catch ourselves at and our growth is to be able to admit like, all right, I'm still dealing with this subconscious programming. And, and again, to do a proper diagnosis, you got to acknowledge that something's going on. The, the moment we try to ignore something, like you try to act like you don't be getting jealous for little certain things, or you try to act like, you know, if you don't you don't embrace and acknowledge that hey I got a little situation to fix in this area then it'll never get fixed you know what I'm saying but again we quantumly jumping you know connecting with our older self healing energies you know and, and even right now you know again like think about where we at right now like our higher self in essence is like a future us you know what I'm saying it's like a, a aspect of us that's like letting us know like hey bro Look, things is getting lighter. You might want to eat less uh, dense foods. You might want to work with these crystals, bro, because, uh, you know, I'm sitting in the place. Look, 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 from my point of view, my brethren, it'll, it'll behoove you to start working with these things in your moment. And, and, and psst, by the way, simultaneously, I'm existing right here in the moment with you. <laughs> like, like, you know, like high self, like, you know, again, giving us that insight. Cause matter of fact, and, 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 and reason why I said like this moment, like say for instance, 2019, cause say for instance, for what is worth, for again, like what we label 2019 or 1999, whatever, whatever, like it could have been the 2024 me that came back and, and gave that insight to, you know, to my older self, but it wasn't, you know, like it, again, like my higher self was letting me know for the best words could explain, you know, it's the 2019 you that really helped for you to get over that drinking aspect and, and being that vibe, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, again, not that these dates actually exist in that manner, but, you know, just to, again, like an insight of a, a reference point in essence. Cause that's what all time is in essence too, is just like God, saying, all right, I'm about to move slow and have a reference point and be able to see myself, you know? Because again, like like the movie Lucy, when you vibrate on such a high frequency and you move so fast, it's almost like you're not even there. It was, you know, like the no thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, I would show, like, matter of fact, they used the example of a car passing, you know, and they sped the car up and so fast, moving so fast. Because you know when something moving so fast, you can't even, you know, like something, it's like, it's like basically like nothing passed, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and basically, you know, we dealing with the aspect of us, you know, the primordial darkness, you know, wanting to experience, uh, experience things from a, a dense perspective. You know? And tapping into that timeline as well. But I'll get into that. <laughs> basically it once again uh, we dealing with these quantum level uh, should I say this dealing with 
realizing how much of our existence, you know, again, like, is it, it's really like some sci-fi movie, you know, and again, they, they, they created that genre to make it seem like, oh, this is stuff that's far-fetched. No, that's our true reality. Like, the like the real shit is in anime and in, uh, in fact, kudos and shout-out to X-Files, bro. Like, for fucking laying the foundation in the 90s like bro like x files was leaking that that sauce and of course with anything it's partial programming you know don't get it twisted like if if some type of show or something is exposing some type of truths you know and i spoke on this on the eyes wide shut video you know part of the tactics is to show you some things uh so it could kind of initiate you into that realm, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and be real with you, have you manifested more of it. But, again, what we focus on grows, but, again, uh, we can speak on subjects as long as we're not focused, you know, on the situation. Because there are certain subjects that do deserve our awareness uh, on the smallest level, but just not for us to kind of, like, dwell on it, like, all the time, or really, like, just always in this realm, like, nah, you know. But... Matter of fact, even down to, I thought about, like, the simplicity of me even on a physical level, like, watching my old videos. And, like, on, on flip side, so, like, how we saying, like, the future self going to the past self to, uh, you know, future self, past self. You know, the future self going to the past self to, uh, you know, to speak and to share a message. You could also, it could also happen vice versa, where, like, me watching my old videos, it's like me learning from my, from the past me, you know what I'm saying? Because, uh, lately I've been, you know, on, uh, a certain information, and, and realizing, too, like, because sometimes I be hard on myself as if I didn't put out certain videos speaking on certain things, and I be having to remind myself, like, by looking at, you know, certain videos or seeing, like, bro, you been talking about this you've been on point with this you know like just stay with it and stop doubting yourself because the whole reason why you're feeling like you you didn't do it or whatever whatever is because of this self-doubt energy you know popping up but again that, that self-doubt energy has to pop up you know like again it's coming bubbling to the top in order for me to transmute it yeah even something as simple as you know again watching my old videos is like learning from the old me Speaking on that, check out the movie 12 Monkeys. Uh, yeah, 12 Monkeys. That that one is a little deep one. And there's a movie with Ethan Hawke. I forgot the name of it. But, uh, dang, not synchronous. But if you look up Ethan Hawke movies, it'll have to do with time travel. And there's a movie that came out not too long ago. Like, I want to say within the last four years at least, you know. But, uh. But check out those movies too to kind of, you know, that help give you a little perspective or you know, add to that perspective. And I think it's a movie called Mr. Nobody that I spoke on too. Matter of fact, check out my movies playlist, my movies and cartoon playlist on this channel. You know, may have something that resonates with you. But that's basically it, just again realizing we, we, we shifting and, uh, you know, it's starting to become more and more evident for us to get online with being in the moment and realizing that the moment is simultaneously the past and the future and there is no beginning or end it's only just this moment forever and ever and ever and ever forever ever forever ever forever <laughs> but that's basically it Again, because that's why you start to realize, like, shit, you know, I'm constantly cycling through energies. A circle has no beginning or no end. So how in the hell is there even a past or future? You know? And that's deeper aspects. <laughs> but, peace, peace. Happy now. Now the vibrate, of course. Not going too far in the future. Not going too far in the past.